Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Paykick Start and Mailjet. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new order is created in Paykick Start, it will automatically send an SMS via Mailjet. Now Paykick Start is an awesome subscription billing software and Mailjet is an email marketing tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Paykick Start to Mailjet. But there is one minor problem. There is actually no integration between Paykick Start and Mailjet. So that is why in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabri Connect to integrate Paykick Start and Mailjet. And the best part of using Pabri Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. Then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your own account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box. Actually, I would insist that you try this automation with me. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Here click on access now. Now at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as pay kick start to mail jet. Pay kick start to Mailjet. Then click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, let's make it as Paykick Start. Because we want to send the data from Paykick Start. That is why. So in the trigger event, it should be fulfillment order created, order received. Yes, this one. Fulfillment order received. Now fulfillment order received is basically a trigger event. There are many more trigger events and your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question. If the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new order is fulfilled, then what action should be taken by the system? So as I mentioned before, there are many more triggers like fulfillment refunded, fulfillment shipped, subscription cancelled, card abandonment. All of them are bunch of triggers. So however, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to make. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new order has been received. So, okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are trying to integrate PayKickstart to Pabli Connect. So to begin the integration in PayKickstart, let's go to PayKickstart and this is my PayKickstart account. And let's go to this part called as campaigns. So as you can see, I have a product and I'm going to select one of those products. Okay, this is the product I'm interested in integrating with the Pabli Connect. So I'm selecting this product and then I'm clicking on edit. Okay, so this is the edit page of that product. So scroll down and at the bottom you will find the option called as integrations. Click this. Okay. Okay, so this is the integrations page. Scroll up. And here you will find the option IPN URL. Click on add. Okay, so we have to fill in this blank called as the IPN URL. And also we have to send an event. So to get the IPN URL, let's go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL or the IPN URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Excellent. Now in the sent events, how about we make it as a fulfillment order received. Fulfillment order received, yes. Okay, so we have uh, entered our IPN URL. Also, we have set the event as fulfillment order received. So just click on save. 
Okay, so it is showing that we have successfully integrated this product in PayKickstart to Pabli Connect. So this means anytime there is a variation brought in this product, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let's go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So let's go to PayKickStart and let's make uh, some changes in the order fulfillment. So for example, we have uh, two customers here, Albert Einstein and Richard Feynman. So we are going to change the status. As you can see, most of them are, uh, uh, the status of uh, most of the other customers are order received. But in these two cases, it's uh, actually put on hold. So I will begin with uh, Albert Einstein. So I'm going to change the status of uh, Albert Einstein. So I'm going to change it as uh, order received from on hold to order received. So we have uh, updated the status. Okay, so the status has been changed to order received. Now, since uh, Pabli Connect is con connected with this product in PayKick Start, let's see if Pabli Connect has captured this data or not. So let's see. Yes, the data has been captured. So these are the details of uh, Albert Einstein. Okay, so this is the amount of the product and this is the email of Albert Einstein. But uh, most importantly, I am interested in the number, the phone number. Okay, so this is the phone number of Albert Einstein. Okay, so as you can see, there is a gap in this phone number. Okay, so this is the phone number and there is a gap between uh, 3 and 2. So we have to eliminate this uh, gap between 3 and 2 before we uh, sync in the data into MailJet. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. Just click on this plus button. And uh, in the choose app, how about we make it as number formatter? Because we are going to work with the numbers, okay, the phone numbers. Now in the action event, let's select the format that is a format phone number. Then click on connect with number formatter. Okay, so in the number, we are going to map in the number. So we have the number that we have received, the Albert Einstein's number. So where is our number? Scroll down. Okay, so this is the number. Okay, so as you can see, there is a gap between 3 and 2. We don't want that. Now, the format that we want is uh, the perfect E164. Okay, so this format we want. This is because there is no gap between the numbers. We want the phone number without any caps. Now, in the country code, we just have to... Uh, type in the country code that is 91 for India okay so if you are from different country you can just click here and enter your own country code okay according to your discretion so we have entered all the details just click on save and send test request okay so the API response is showing the number the phone number has been formatted and this is the result okay as you can see in the result it is not showing any sort of gap between any numbers okay for example the gap between 3 and 2 has been removed so now we are ready to sync in the data to MailJet to send an SMS so to do that just click on this plus button so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window now in here in the choose app, let's make it as MailJet because we want to send the SMS via MailJet. MailJet, sorry. MailJet SMS. Now in the action event, just make it as send SMS. Now there is only one action event for uh, MailJet at this point. Now uh, since if you want more action event of your choice, you can contact us at admin at the rate probably .com to uh, custom build and another action event for you. But at present, I'm just going to send an SMS. Then click on connect with MailJet SMS. Now in the new credentials, we have a blank to fill called as the token. So to get the token, let's uh, go to MailJet SMS. So this is my MailJet SMS dashboard. So here you will find uh, your API credentials. Here click on manage tokens. Now we are going to create a token. Okay. So uh, how about we create the name for the token as sunshine. You can give any name according to your discretion and then just click on generate. Okay, so as you can see, a token called as sunshine has been generated. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so the details uh, has been entered. Just click on save. When you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blank is we are going to uh, create an SMS from the data that we have collected from PayKickStart to send an SMS. So for example, in the from, we can just uh, type in the name that is uh, Pabli. Okay, so before we sync in the data, let me tell you something. 
uh, Pabri Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so from we have uh, typed in as Pabli because uh, we are sending it uh, from my company that is uh, Pabli. Now to we just uh, are going to map in the phone number. So this is the phone number. So as you can see, we have mapped in the phone number. But uh, this phone number is actually kind of wrong. As I mentioned before, there is a gap between 3 and 2. So we are just going to remove this. And we had a result of the phone number that we had formatted. So just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, so this is the result. Okay, this is the phone number. So as you can see, in this phone number, there is no gap. Now in the text, we just uh, type in the text. Hey there. Hey, thanks. Mr. Miss. Mr. or Mrs. Albert Einstein. So Einstein, uh, we just went to. Okay. Well, thanks for purchasing the product and the product ID or the product name okay so this is the product name that is the t-shirt okay so we have filled in the blanks just click on save and send test request okay so the API response is showing that the data has been sent to MailJet so let's have a look so it is showing that uh, to this number that is Albert Einstein's number we, uh, the MailJet has sent the SMS Okay, and this is how the SMS looks like. Okay, so this uh, is the SMS that the customer called as Albert Einstein has got. Excellent. So how about we double check if the integration is working fine or not. But before that, let me show you the whole gist of the process. So let me go to Pabli Connect and let me minimize this uh, action window. And I'm going to minimize this action window. And I'm minimizing this trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated PayKickstart to Pabli Connect. And then you using the number formatter, we have uh, formatted the phone number. We basically removed the gap and then we integrated to MailJet. So basically now there is a perfect flow of data between PayKickStart and MailJet. Okay, excellent. So how about we go to PayKickStart and this time in case of Richard Feynman, let's make his status as order received. Order received. Okay, order received. Then click on update. Okay, so uh, the order has been changed to uh, uh, order received. Excellent. So let's have a look into the uh, uh, SMS of uh, Richard Feynman, whether he has got this message. Okay, so we have got the SMS. Hey, thanks, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Richard Feynman. Thanks for uh, uh, purchasing the product t-shirt. Okay, excellent. So this means our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime the product status in pay kickstart has been changed to order received, it will automatically send an SMS via MailJet. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.